Hello and welcome to AutoInform magazine. My name is Frank Massey and in this toolbox feature I'd like to discuss and present a, 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 a means of improving engine performance, economy, drivability and also dealing with a very real issue. And the very real issue is the treatment of contamination in engines. I've chosen this particular vehicle because of its um, ability to connect and visually see what's, what's taking place with, with the process. First of all, petrol has carbon as part of its, its structure. It's a carbon-based fuel. That carbon during the combustion process causes pollution. It causes pollution in several ways, as, as carbon deposits, obviously, and as lacquer and contaminants. These contaminants spread everywhere from the inlet valves, inlet manifold, EGR valves, variable intake runners, lambda sensors, catalysts, in effect, the entire engine, both, both uh, partially on the intake system and also on the exit system, the exhaust system. This terraclean uh, process is designed and intended, and, and my view on this that is it's, it should be used and presented as a preventative means of maintenance, uh, as well as a, a, a repair uh, process. Used um, as prevention, then what the customer will benefit from is improvement in drivability, performance, value for money, um, and economy. Um, how does it work? The chemicals are aerophatics. Aerophatics have no carbon. So in, in, in essence, we're going to run the vehicle from this aerophatic-based chemical. There are two chemicals. There is a, a, a pre- and post-clean uh, process, which is automatically controlled by the dispenser. So the TerraClean dispenser does something actually very unique. Apart from delivering this chemical, this is not a chemical-based process. This is a physics-based process. The dispenser converts the aerophatics, which are carbon-free, into negative charged particles, which are then introduced into the uh, combustion process in the engine, where they, at molecular level, collide with positive charged particles which are normally produced in the combustion process. The net result is that it removes carbon and lacquers from the engine. That, that's that's the, the process put simplistically. I'm sure there's a more complicated uh, explanation for this. So we're going to run the engine off the aerophatics. It's going to clean the system. Um, and like any process of cleaning of this nature, if it's used often and appropriately, we'll get an improvement in drivability, fuel consumption, uh, and um, it, value for money is in terms of improved um, uh, miles per gallon. How do we install it? Right, if we're going to run the vehicle from this dispenser, we obviously have to neutralise the original fuel supply. Now, in our case, on this vehicle, it's fairly straightforward. I've interrupted the fuel supply line. I'm going to pull the fuel pump fuse, so the pump now will not run. I've crimped the fuel return line because the engine's going to run from this chemical. Therefore, we don't want it to return back to the tank. So by one means or another, we are preventing supply and preventing return to the tank. I now need to connect the delivery hose into the, the fitting. I've obviously pre-attached the fitting, which goes to the fuel rail. Make sure that's secure. So essentially what you're seeing there is an intake circuit into the fuel rail. That's ready to go. I need to charge the reservoirs with the chemical and by simply screwing them in. Don't screw them too far. As soon as you see the chemical released, it will automatically charge the accumulator inside. We can do them on both. I need to let all of that chemical discharge into the device. I have not yet connected the compressor. Uh, we have some compressed air. The next stage in the process then is to set the delivery pressure, which is adjustable, and we mimic the system pressure, which on this vehicle is around four bar pressure. So I'm waiting for those to discharge. Whilst the vehicle is running, it will run from the aerophatics, which are carbon-free compound, in the normal way, um, in other words, the engine will run. Um, you should preheat the engine, by the way, uh, get the best advantage of this, this process. Uh, and once this fuel 
has been exhausted, um, there's a warning buzzer. Um, we then reconnect the original fuel supply uh, and that's the process finished. So just waiting for those to take place. Benefits of this type of process um, is that it avoids an awful lot of increased labour costs. I mean, a lot of the contamination, the back of inlet valves, EGR valves, variable intake runners, etc., um, can be quite labour intensive. So used appropriately and regularly, um, it enhances and maintains the performance of the engine. Injectors, um, where they can be recovered by this process, will perform much more effectively. They'll, they'll uh, atomize and mix the, uh, fuel, the, the fuel uh, more effectively in the engine, which promotes better combustion. That sounds like they're just about discharged. I could take the, the, these off once they've been discharged. I'm going to leave them on for now, but they can be taken off. We're now safe to connect the compressed air supply. That valve should be fully off. The next process now is to set the pressure. So at this point, we're actually now effectively compressing the fuel, the aerophatic fuel, into the rail at, I'm going to set 40 psi. That should be sufficient to run this engine. So we now have an independent fuel supply through this dispenser which, as I said, creates negatively charged particles which will then um, react with the positive particles uh, in the combustion process. And I think we're ready to start the engine. As you can see, the engine runs quite normally. Um, we are running entirely off the dispenser. The entire process probably will take 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so. At a point where the chemical is about to run out, there is a warning buzzer uh, to warn in case you don't want the engine to completely exhaust its fuel supply. Um, there is, however, several minutes of treatment left beyond that point. After which, of course, we need to reconnect the original fuel supply system, um, and that really concludes the, the entire process. Um, we've had some very good results with recovering poor idle quality, um, poor combustion issues, um, exhaust errors where there's been uh, residual oxygen content in the exhaust stream, where it's failed the MOT perhaps. Um, with a good recovery rate and also good drivability, we've had issues where we've had flat spots and hesitation which have been successfully dealt with, having, uh, for want of a better word, flushed and cleaned the intake uh, system, the combustion chamber, uh, injectors and pistons using the Terra, Green, uh, Terra Clean product. Um, that concludes the presentation for the toolbox. Um, I hope you found this of interest. Um, Certainly, it's very focused products, especially dealing with direct petrol injection, which is now the, really the, the, the focus of, uh, of future technology. This, of course, is manifold injection. Um, uh, and it's a very focused product dealing with uh, a very real issue, which is emission and drivability-based problems. But thank you for joining me in this uh, uh, presentation, and hope to see you soon.